Merry Christmas, Andy. Well, how'd you sleep last night? I slept good. I slept like a rock. Probably can't see me, but I did not sleep well. It was cold. It was rainy. And we had some rain coming in through the roof a little bit. It was dripping on Andy's sleeping bag. Um, I got out and I have an emergency tarp that I had to use to cover up half the, just one half of the roof. Meanwhile, there was still a little bit of water dripping on my side, but it wasn't too bad. But it got, it got cold, it was a little bit wet, and then fortunately the rain stopped. But after the rain stopped, we uh, woke up to a surprise. This is what we woke up to. It was a big surprise. The tarp is frozen. It's only on this half of the hut because this is where it's dripping the most. And it's a good thing I put it on because as soon as I put this tarp up, it started raining harder. And then it eventually stopped and I thought it was over, but apparently it turned to snow and it snowed for the rest of the night out here <laughs> this is cool look at this <laughs> whoa this is uh acorns i put some acorns in here and since it was raining i had to leach them and so i just put them out here in the rain so that the rain could just naturally leach it and now they're covered in snow <laughs> well we used up almost all of our firewood. Andy, I think we need to get wood. I can't believe Andy slept through this whole <laughs> storm. Like, he wasn't even aware that I was putting up this tarp. I heard the tarp blowing later and I thought, that's a weird noise, what is that? <laughs> but I didn't know you'd even been outside. Yeah, I came out, I got all wet. I was disappointed that I had to use it, but uh, the roof needs some maintenance and I haven't been here uh, much in the past uh, two months. So uh, there's a lot of work that I need to do. And just I just need to put more bark on the roof. And he's headed to the spot where we are gonna collect some wood. This wood's gonna be a little difficult. Hopefully it's not too wet. Uh, more tracks right here. There's a good one. Yep. Good. Good. Hands are freezing. Guess we'll just put it inside so it can start to thaw. next to the fire. Gosh, it's so cold. I don't have any good gloves on. There's a good one. Nice big one. Oh yeah. All right. should melt that snow pretty fast. One more. Okay. All right. Let's just use that for now. All right. It's a sunny, sunny day today, and it is a desert, so that snow is going to melt quick. It's not too bad if you're moving around, though. As long as you're moving. Look at this, your breath, the steam coming off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
few minutes. Warming up. So this will take probably a very long time to thaw. Wanna go for a walk outside? Yeah. Right, let's go. This looks so beautiful. How interesting how there's no snow collected right here. Coming up in that direction and the pine just blocked it off. Exactly. So yeah. Look at this pine here. There's snow on the left side and none on the right. How interesting. Earlier this year when it snowed I, I wore sandals. And I only went out initially just to collect some wood and in the time that it took to set up the camera and, and then repeat the action, collect the wood, my feet were so cold. Here we are. Oh. Well, at least I know there'll be water for a little while. Yeah, that's kind of thick actually. Over a quarter inch, I think. Let's go up the hill right here. Oh, my beloved Yucca. It's a big rock up there at the top. Yeah. I've never been. Have you been to that one? I think that's where I was. That's where you went yesterday? Well, I've never been there, so be good to check it out. Yeah, this is a this is a good spot. You could definitely make a shelter. What's interesting is because of the direction of the snow last night. Yeah. You could have kept the water and snow off of you. For sure. It'd be cold, but <laughs> but at least you could stay fairly dry. And you got the early morning sun from this spot too, which is nice. Probably warms up first thing in the morning. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's a big advantage. You have the heat of the sun radiating, warming up the side of the rock. Oh yeah. This is good. This is a good little spot. I didn't yeah, yeah. I've always looked at this rock and I gotta go up there someday. And you beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> That mountain over there is the, the highest for in this mountain range. Yeah.
so I gotta buy sign it. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Alright. Well this pot is a gift to me from Andy Ward. I'm sorry I broke it. <laughs> I broke it before I got here. Okay, well, yeah, there's a little story to this. So, come this way a little bit more. In the frame. Yeah. So, Andy came to visit me at, at my hut here and spend a few days. And he, uh, he packed a burden basket with uh, this pot and another pot that he was he used to make what's the name of that uh, corn dumplings yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it corn dumplings in the in the primitive way it was it was a fun uh, experiment and they turned out really good so make sure and see that video um, and so he brought this to me as a gift now as you can see it's a little broken on the edge here can you explain what happened yeah so my I had a burden basket failure. Uh, the the rope it, the rope the basket was attached to my head by a tump line, and it was tied on to the strap, you know, with a knot. And I don't know, traveling or something, the knot had come loose, and so I put it on, and I walked about I don't know, a hundred feet, and it just like swung off my head, and I heard this thump, and it was that pot rolling out of the basket, and uh, busted the rim. It didn't break it completely. I mean, it still has a lot of usefulness, but. Um, yeah. The rim is a little messed up. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you so much for this. This is beautiful. Andy Ward yeah. does the most beautiful ancient pottery. That, that's the name of his his channel, Andy Ward's Ancient Pottery. And he, he, he'll uh, recreate a lot of the, uh, the native artifacts that have been found that you might see in museums. And he recreates them, and they look, <laughs> they look pretty much like the real exact thing, that was the original. Um, so again, thank you. I'm definitely going to use this. This has is perfectly usable <laughs> and this adds a, adds some character to it. Like this looks like an artifact for that sure. was found in, in some ruins or something. So it's, sure. it's, it's you were, perfect. You were talking yesterday about how, you know, when you're out here, you have a desperate need for containers for all yes. kinds of things. And he was talking about how he's got containers with ash and he's got containers with uh, you know, full of acorns, and he's got containers full. You know, you have to store things, and we take it for granted at home because, uh, you know, you can always just go to the store and buy containers. But um, Container store. Yeah, so, you know, it's it's nice to have some uh, authentic, uh, primitive-made containers for out here. Absolutely. And it's just gonna, and it looks so beautiful. The painting on this is, it's just, it's gorgeous. Yeah, what, it's, what is this? It's, exactly? um, How is this made? Uh, this is a uh, Salado Polychrome. So the black paint is organic material that's boiled down. It's probably mesquite bean, but I have used other things as well. And you can see where it kind of burned out in places. And uh, that's similar to what Chad did with his painted pot that he tried to do. You, if you if you oxidize it too much, you'll start burning that carbon out. And the white is, is a white clay slip that I've applied. And it's a special kind that'll hold that organic paint and turn it into carbon designs. And then the red, that is just iron oxide. That's just like red ochre which is just a naturally occurring soft red material, mixed up with water, painted on, and then polished into the pot. So if you look, you can see the polish strokes, kind of where I rubbed a stone across it, and that set those red pigments into that damp clay. Beautiful. And yeah, it's, it's, just, it's a pot that I had sitting around my studio for a while uh, because the paint didn't come out so good, and I thought, you know, it'd be great for something up here. It'd be perfect because it'd be usable, and it's still beautiful, too. Yeah, exactly. Really appreciate it. This is going to be gorgeous. I'm going to really great. enjoy it using this. You're welcome. <laughs> Glad you like it. One great thing about snow is that I have a good supply of water all around me. I'm going to fill up some of these containers with water and all I have to do is melt it and then it'll be good to drink using a clay spoon that I made to scoop up the snow.
Goodbye, Chad. Thanks for everything. You're out of here, Andy. Yeah, I gotta get back to Tucson. All right. It has been a real pleasure. You're welcome anytime. Uh, you might enjoy uh, warmer weather maybe the next time. <laughs> Come back in the summer. <laughs> we can dig in, collect some clay, and make some pottery. For sure. You can show them. I can learn from the master. Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> Look forward to it. All right. Bye. See ya. All right, the stove is warm, so this snow is gonna melt pretty fast, and then I'll have some good drinking water. This wood is what my main concern is right now. This wood is still wet. Some of it still has snow on it. And I don't have very much dry wood left. So hopefully, this will dry enough tonight so that I'll be able to burn it because I'm going to need a lot of wood tonight. It's going to be very cold. And um, I may be able to get some wood from some of the standing dead juniper trees that are out here. Um, the ones that are standing are exposed to the sun and to the wind, and so they dry faster than wood that would be on the ground. Hopefully that will work. If not, then it might be a very long and cold night. Hey Chad, I'm back. What happened? Uh, my truck got stuck in the mud, tires were spinning, uh, the road's just too wet from all this snow, so I guess I'm staying another night, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Sounds good to me. All right. <laughs> we're gonna need a lot of wood though. All right, we better start collecting some. Well, I guess Andy's gonna be here one more night. It's gonna be a cold one, so we're definitely gonna need some firewood. Placing the wood against this wall where the sun is beating on it is going to help dry it out. It's actually drying out pretty fast. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to break up the wood and just stack it right here against the wall. We have probably two more hours before the sun is going to go down too far. So hopefully it'll be dry enough to use then. You got some wood, Andy? Yeah. All right. Is it fairly dry? Relatively. We got a couple more hours and hopefully that'll be long enough to dry them sufficiently. Good. And then we'll we'll use what fuel dry, that's dry to get the fire started and hopefully we can be like cycling it. Mm -hmm. Like it could be drying it. It could be drying the wet wood while we're heating the room. Sorry, acorns. <laughs> They're frozen inside. <laughs> they didn't even fall out. The whole thing is frozen. I'm using the snow. As the snow melts, it'll slowly leach the acorns.
I just remembered something. All of this, these branches that I used to create shade for my garden, they've been suspended above the ground in the sun and in the wind. And so they're actually pretty dry. So this will work for a fire. This will help at least just get the fire started. And then hopefully I can dry out the bigger pieces. It's getting really cold. The sun's almost down. I'm starting to shiver. So I got to... I got to get inside. Andy's inside, and I'm just going to get that fire going, and hopefully I have enough wood for us to stay warm all night. This wood isn't fully dry, but we're going to have to make the best of it. All right. Getting ready for a long, cold night. What's the name of that book again that you're reading? It's called Zuni Origins. It's, uh, it's a guy that thinks that uh, the Zuni are the descendants of the ancient Mogollon. I don't think he's right, but there's a lot of good information in here anyway. Oh, interesting. That looks deep. Yeah, it's good. Parts of it are good. I get that hot enough so that it'll, it'll dry these, these other pieces. It is definitely freezing out there. It is so cold. I suggest if you have to go pee, do it now. Because we're not going to want to go out later. <clears throat> After all the time we spent adjusting the door, I'm like, I don't want to go out right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> we have to go through that again. <laughs> yeah, the door is sealed pretty good now. So now I'm just, uh, I'm still drying wood. I've got, um, the stack that was here, I finished drying. It's mostly dry, so it's dry enough that it should light in the fire pretty quick. Oh, and we lost the fire. Yeah, this wet wood, it just takes longer to, to ignite. I did find that blowing a lot of oxygen on it helps significantly. I'm bundled up. <laughs> I'm going to be doing this for a little while and then I'm going to cook some acorn mush for dinner because I am very hungry. Are you going to want to eat, Andy? A little bit, probably. <sighs> it's going to be a long night. It's going to be so cold. It's probably going to get to about 20 degrees tonight. I, I plant my feet against the wall of the uh, of this fireplace over where the bench is. And uh, that helps to keep my feet warm. Acorn mush should be ready now. The best meal you ever had. Mm. Yeah. 
good guy. Right here. Help yourself. All right. I do like acorns. I've, I've eaten okay. lots of acorns. Try I've that. Never eaten it as a mush. Well, how have you? Well, how did crack you crack them out of the shell and eat them? Just raw. Yeah. Oh, so they weren't very bitter. Mm -mm. No, like I said, some of the ones we have down in southern Arizona are really sweet. Nice. Oh, you have to introduce me the, to those sometime. <laughs> so all the ones I've ever had are kind of bitter. Very bitter. So, good. no comment? No, it's good. <laughs> is it? Uh -huh. So it has acorns. I'm not sure what kind it is, but those big ones. Um, some butter and maple syrup. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. I like it. bit frosty out. Oh. The roof is covered in frost. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. We survived the night. The drying of the wood worked. We had plenty of firewood. Pretty warm and cozy inside. It was a cold night. But it, yeah. You can tell by how hard the ground is frozen. It is frozen solid. How was your stay? Good. It was more was exciting it? than I expected. <laughs> you know, the snowstorm and all. Unexpected. Fun. Yeah, it's quite fun. It was an adventure. Yeah. You tell your grandkids about it someday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully I'll be able to bring grandkids here. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, it would be. Well, um, yeah, I hope you come back again and we could do some pottery. For sure. It was fun. Glad you came. So, um, yeah, I'll walk back with you for the ways. Hopefully you'll be able to get out this time. Yeah, otherwise, I guess I'm walking.